Welcome into a Thursday night edition of High School Football. Top four seeds all got a buy in round one, but Alec, plenty of action tonight. Yeah, Clovis falls by a field goal to Liberty of Bakersfield Central down to unbeaten frontier. With 11 seconds to play, David Marquez connects with Braylon Hall for what would prove to be the Grizzlies' game-winning touchdown. What a finish. Other D1 games in Clovis. Top seed at Clovis North up 19-0 when our cameras arrive in the second half. Mario Cosmos pass complete to Levi Spriggs Jr., but Jordan Piero the hammer hit Jonathan Darrington with the fumble recovery. Now the ensuing drive, the fake punt looks to be enough for the first, but McKay Madsen in for the strip and recovery. Jackson Sinfell would rumble in the score. 41 0 your final as the top seed moves on. Packed house for the visiting team at La Monica. Sanger looking to avenge its only loss of the season against the team that beat them. Clovis East scores first. Ty Miller to Tommy Nix. 47 yard connection will lead to a 32 year old field goal from Francisco Damas. Next, he wills possession. Miller back to Nix. He goes 59 yards to the house on this one. Clovis East, though, with a goal line stand to hold off the Apaches and move on. So D1 bracket is set. Clovis North will play Clovis East. Central Grizzlies is going to head back down to Bakersfield for a spot in the championship game against Liberty. Moving on to D3, Mount Whitney and Mission Oak. This also a rematch game. The Hawks won the first meeting by a field goal. Micah Rodriguez to Carter Myers. Good for the touchdown. He certainly knows which camera to point to, Alec. No, he likes that. Mission Oak responds on the ground. Kenny Jackson with the chunk yardage. He'd finally get taken down, but how about we feed the big fella again? This time, Jackson finds pay dirt. Hawks win and will stay at home next week because of this result. Washington Union at the coast against undefeated Atascadero. Greyhounds driving. Kane Cook's pass headed the other way. Ryan Brown, 72-yard pick six. He wasn't actually running that fast. We sped that up. <laughs> Double handoff here. Reverse to Davian Potts. He finds the edge. Peace out. Panthers dominate 41-13. Incredible finish at Pal Cal Poly. Porterville down one to Mission Prep. Third and goal from the two. 20 seconds to play. Ethan Enriquez to Aiden Dowdy. Stop short, but the Panthers don't have any timeouts. So they try to rush the field goal unit out on fourth down. Not enough time. That leads to a heartbreaking finish for the Porterville Panthers. So Mission Prep wins. They move on to face Kerman, who topped Kennedy 34-28. Washington Union still alive. Again, after they upset the Greyhounds. To Division Two, Lamar hosting Sunnyside Wildcats on a nine-game win streak. Opening drive, Tanner Wilson stands in the pocket, flies it to Jason Dixon right in the basket for the TD. 7-0 Sunnyside. Wildcats driving. Wilson fumbles it. We've got a loose ball. Daniel Rodriguez scoops it and scores. Touchdown, Tigers. We are tied. 7-7. Seven, seven. Damian Hernandez kicks it into overdrive here. Coming in your living room. Down the sideline. Look right. My life flashed before my eyes there. <laughs> 78 yards all the way to the house. Lamore advances 38-22 your final. Well, we can't show you the full D2 bracket just yet because there's still more games to play tomorrow, including Alec, number one, Central Valley Christian. They're going to take on undefeated Tehachapi. Coming up, we head to Exeter, where the Rough Riders look to continue their Cinderella run. And we'll show you the rest of the action across the valley.